So over here, you can see that I have a video project in my timeline. And when it's in the timeline, you cannot directly share it just yet. You need to export it out into a proper video format so that you can share it out with others who do not have access to Microsoft Clipchamp. Or if you want to share out uh, your uh, video uh, in different social media sites as well. So to do that, uh, what you need to do first is export out your video project. And to do that, you can go around onto the top right hand side where you see the export button. So once you click uh, over here, you can choose the quality of the video that you want to export in. For example, there's 480p, which is the standard definition format, 720p, which is the base level SD format, and there's full SD format, which is uh, set to SD, as you can see right here, and is set to high quality. So I'm just going to go around and select this format right here, and you can see that immediately the video starts being exported. It is being processed right here, and depending on the level of effect you add onto the video and um, uh, depending on the level of uh, complexity of the video, uh, the length of the video, it might take a bit of time to be exported. But, uh, but that is totally normal for video projects. You might have to wait a long time. So once that is done, you can see that um, the video shows up in downloads right here. So I can open up the file directly and you can see that this is the exported video. Or if I were to go around and click on the folder button right here, then it opens up the Explorer window as you can see right here. And then um, there's the video file. So this is an MP4 format as you can see right here, which is um, a universal format accepted by many social media platforms and is a common format these days um, for video sharing. So if I were to go around and double click and open it, you can see the same video format over here, the video file right here. And that is how you can go around and export out videos uh, uh, that, that, that you made with Microsoft Clipchamp. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.